hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a over 2 is equals to square root of a and we solve this problem for the values of a so here uh, we find all the values of a uh, and at the last we check that is these values of a are satisfied our given equation or not uh, so uh, here first here we solve this problem for two methods uh, and I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here in the first method uh, first we need uh, to eliminate the square root sign from right hand side uh, for this we need to take a squaring on both of the sides of the given equation so when we will take squaring it will be written as a over 2 whole square is equals to square root of a and its whole square so here we know about the square rule uh, when we apply the square on fraction uh, then we can apply this square sign on both of these terms uh, so here we apply the square on a and it will becomes a square and we apply the square in the denominator term so this is 2 and we know that 2 square is equals to 4 and this is equals to here you see that this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here a only so here uh, in the next steps we need to rearrange the terms and here we move this 4 to the right hand side and it will be written as a square is equals to this is 4 divided by here when we move in the right hand side it is multiplied by a so it will becomes here 4 times of a and you see here this is quadratic equation this is pure quadratic equation but uh, not not into the standard form so here uh, first we need to uh, move this 4a in the left hand side and when we move this 4a in the left hand side it will becomes a square minus 4a is equals to 0 and now you see here uh, both of these terms involve a so uh, it means that a be the common term so that when we will take common a we get the remaining values are uh, from here when we take common a we will get a only and minus from here when we take common a we will get here this is 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to uh, divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write a is equals to 0 and the second case is we write a minus 4 is equals to 0 so this is the first root of the given equation and from here we move this minus 4 to the right hand side and we will get here a is equals to 4 and this is the our second root of the given equation so here we get two roots of the given equation in first method and now here in the next steps we need to verify these two roots and we check that is these two roots are satisfied our given question or not so for this we need to copy down given question statement here it is a over 2 is equals to square root of a and here we uh, check the above both roots and uh, here in this side we check a is equals to 0 and in this side we will check a is equals to 4 and we check the behavior of the given equation so here uh, when we put this value of a equals to 0 on both of the sides then you see here we have this will becomes 0 over 2 is equals to this is square root of 0 and we know that when we divide 0 with any other number it will remain 0 so uh, 0 over something is always equals to 0 and we know that square root of 0 is equals to 0 so uh, this shows that left hand side is equals to right hand side this means that the value of a is equals to 0 is satisfied over a given question statement and now here in the same pattern we will check the second value of a and the second value of a is equals to 4 we will substitute this value of a here and after substituting it here it will becomes 4 over 2 is equals to square root of 4 
and now further in the next step uh, we need to simplify the terms you see here this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 we get our 2 is equals to and here uh, you see that we have square root of 4 and we know that square root of 4 is equals to 2 so here also you see that left hand side is equals to right hand side this also means that uh, the second value of a is equal to 4 is also satisfied our given question statement and this is the final answer which we get here from first method and now we move forward uh, towards the second method and we again solve this problem for second method and now here in second method uh, first we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is a over 2 is equals to square root of a so here in second method we need to focus in the left hand side <clears throat> and in the left hand side we have this is a we uh, write uh, this a as square root of a multiplied by square root of a and it is divided by 2 is equals to square root of a <clears throat> so here uh, you very well know about that uh, which rule I can apply here so that in the next step we need to divide uh, both of the sides by square root of a okay we divide both of the sides by square root of a so after dividing uh, both of the sides by square root of a we will get here uh, we get the remaining values are in this form so uh, it will be written as square root of a multiplied by square root of a divided by 2 times of square root of a is equals to square root of a divided by square root of a you see here this square root of a is cancelled out by this square root of a this is cancelled out by this one and we will get here square root of a divided by 2 is equals to 1 and now here further in the next step we move uh, this 2 to the right hand side this is divided by here when we move in the right hand side it is multiplied by 1 and it will becomes square root of a is equals to 2 so here we need to find the value of a for this we need to take the squaring on both of the sides and you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here our a is equals to uh, here we know that the square of 2 becomes 4 so this is the final value of a so from both of these methods we get here the same answer and this is the our final answer of this question uh, and i hope so you like both of these methods and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos